one. Now Infertility Awareness Week on Eyewitness News is brought to you by Yukon Fertility. As we continue our series on infertility this week, we turn to the men out there. And while most people may think infertility falls on the woman, oftentimes there can be a medical issue with the man. Ranging from a hormone imbalance to even paralysis, there are still treatments that can make the dream of having a family a reality. All right, um, June 12, 2005, I and a few of my friends were out um, at the beach and I just dove into a wave and basically just broke my neck on impact. In an instant, Corey Lee's life changed forever. In his early 20s, he was paralyzed from the neck down. I had a great support system um, going into like the initial stages of the injury, but internally I, like, I suffered with depression because I didn't think anybody could love me. I didn't think anybody would um, want to even have children with me, and a, a lot of my dreams and desires kind of just got washed down the drain. But then he met Christiana. She came by and that was uh, March 21st of 2008 and she never left after that. Oh yeah, he's got nice eyes and I was immediately intrigued by him and then I never left. Like any fairy tale, the two met, fell in love and got married. Um, when you're thinking about marriage, you're not thinking about paralysis or sickness or anything like that. You're thinking fairy tale in your brain, you know, um, we're going to get married and whoever it is, we're going to get married, we'll have kids. So paralysis was hard, but I really, I really liked him, really cared about him. And the couple turned to the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services to make their dreams of having a family a reality. Through in vitro fertilization, they have two beautiful boys. Dr. Stan Honing is a reproductive urologist with the center, and he says while Corey's story is unique, infertility among men is more common than you think. In fact, um, about half the time, it's actually a male factor. He says men should be checked right away and the fix could be very simple. Men are kind of afraid to find out if there's a problem. So one of the things I would emphasize is that there are a lot of minimally invasive or non-invasive ways that you can address this problem that and and I want to put men at ease knowing that maybe sometimes there can just be a lifestyle issue. An issue easily fixed so that more couples can have the storybook ending that Corey and Christiana live every day. And he's still my Prince Charming. He may not be on a horse, he's in a wheelchair and that's how I look at him. He he swept me off my feet. So I still have the fairy tale. It's just very modified. He's, he's great. <laughs> I couldn't ask for anybody better. Like I said, it's difficult, but everybody is going through some chapter of their life, which is hard. So mine right now is paralysis. It's, my wife is paralysis, but there's somebody that's homeless. There's somebody that's hungry right now, and I don't have to suffer those uh, type of things. And I have my own cross to bear, and God, is, God has me. And if he didn't, then I think I would stress out a whole lot more. Um, but because of my faith and my family and my wife and my children, I, I'm, I'm okay. Wow, what a beautiful mm -hmm. family. For more information on infertility, just go right to our website, wfsb.com.